Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren back with another what I eat in a day on my weight loss journey video. If you guys are new, hey, I'm Lauren. I follow the WW Blue Plan as well as count calories for a calorie deficit on my journey to losing 150 pounds. So far, I'm about 75 pounds down on my journey. I get 38 points a day on the WW Blue Plan and I try to stick to under 1800 calories a day. I also try to get about 100 ounces of water in a day. So today I'm taking you guys along sharing everything I eat. I am still on my little mommy staycation my husband and daughter are out camping this week with his family. You guys are going to see a lot of videos from this week because I'm trying to pump out some content before we get busy as the start of school starts. And my baby girl, my three-year-old starts preschool for the first time. I know it's going to be busy and we have a vacation scheduled at the beginning of September. So I'm trying to get ahead on content. So you guys might see some videos from this week trickling in over the next couple weeks. But I thought it would be fun to share what I eat in a day when I'm not worrying about feeding my family. I just have to worry about me. I have been worried about them, I guess, because I've struggled sleeping the last few nights. I get really tired at my normal time, but then when I go to bed, I like sit there and I can't fall asleep for hours. Last night got really bad. I ended up just getting up because I couldn't go to sleep around like three and I got a little bit of work done that was like on my mind to get it off my mind, went back to bed and finally fell asleep around 4 a.m. And then my husband and daughter called to say hi this morning and of course I woke up to answer and talk to them because I miss them terribly. So that was around 7.30. Mommy hasn't gotten a lot of sleep today, sorry. Um, but it's already, by the time I like woke myself up and got myself ready and came downstairs, yeah, it's 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything for the day. So I guess I accidentally intermittent fasted. That is something I've looked into. I've heard a lot of people have tried intermittent fasting on WW as well. If you guys have an experience with that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I've been stuck at a bit of a plateau on and off for the last few months. I feel like I've gained and lost the same few pounds. So I'm looking to switch up my routine. I feel like you are still progressing and successing on your journey as long as you keep going and keep trying. It's taken me almost two years. I'm almost at my two year mark on WW. I took a six month hiatus back during crazy COVID spring. Um, I've had a couple months here and there where I decided either not to track or I only weighed in once a month and you know, kind of did it something different. So I'm, I've mixed it up. And I think the point is, is you get back on it. You know, if you take a vacation and you take a week off of tracking, come back to it when you get home. I think the main thing is just having that drive and determination and knowing it's not an if I'm going to succeed this time, it's when. I'm ready for a mix up though. I'm ready to start seeing some better progress. So I'm looking to mix it up, but back to food. We're starting off with coffee. This is just homemade cold brew coffee. I did share a small meal prep that I did for myself for this week just to help me try and stay on track. So this is the cold brew I made. And then in it, I added my Chobani sweet cream coffee creamer. I love this creamer. I still love it. But have any of you guys noticed, I've been sharing this creamer for months on my channel. And when you scan it, it's scanned in at one point per tablespoon. It is now scanning in at three points for two tablespoons when it used to be two. So I thought that was like my little secret gem and I was saving points on my coffee, but what are you gonna do? So I went ahead and counted for two tablespoons. So that's my three point coffee. For breakfast this morning, I'm making myself a bagel fit. I'm gonna do that this morning with a little bit of third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese and smoked salmon, one of my favorite breakfast and I haven't had it in a long time. So it was one of the things I made sure to pick up while I was going to be home alone this week. Some smoked salmon on a bagel with cream cheese and we'll have some fruit too. All right guys, today calls for a refill. My schedule is so off. I do still have some cream left from that first one. So I'm only going to put one tablespoon in this one. I cannot get over these white nectarines. They're so good. I got them at Kroger last week and they're like the perfect ripeness. They're so, so sweet. I love how much more I enjoy fruit now than I used to. I mean, I've always liked fruit. I've never like had an aversion to it, but I feel like ever since, you know, starting my healthy journey, I started incorporating fresher fruits and vegetables into more and more of my meals and as snacks, as better alternatives to other things. And your taste buds really do adapt and change. It's kind of like why they say for toddlers to keep trying to give them healthy foods because eventually they'll taste it and they'll like it and understand it and not refuse it. 
Adults are the same way. Just keep offering yourself healthy fruits and vegetables and your taste buds change over time. This tastes like dessert. Happy breakfast dessert to me. Hey guys, okay, it's been kind of a boring day. I've just been getting a lot of YouTube work done, editing a couple other videos I'm gonna be sharing with you guys soon. So I have been drinking my water though. This is my third LO tumbler. These are 18 ounce tumblers, so we're on our way to our 100 ounces. But it is a little bit later this afternoon and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch. So happy I did meal prep earlier this week. I was literally just like standing in front of my fridge and pantry thinking, I don't know what to make and feeling unmotivated to cook right now. I think it's a combination just because I'm tired from not having gotten great sleep last night and I've just been sitting like all morning afternoon working on my computer. So I've been really inactive. I need to get a workout in here today. I need to get some energy up because I'm just in like that weird kind of fuzzy headspace right now where you're tired and you're hungry, but then you go past hungry. Like I pushed it probably a little further than I should have. It's pretty late in the afternoon. I think it's like 3.30 already. Um, you push it and then you're past hungry and then you're not really hungry anymore, but you're cranky and you're like fuzzy and just like unmotivated. So thank goodness I meal prepped the steak and veggie bowls this week. I did share this meal prep in my grocery haul and food prep for the week video. I don't know when this video is getting shared, but it was yesterday for me. I don't know what day it is for you. So this one was shared. I will link the video where I shared this recipe in the iCard above. I'm just gonna heat this up and eat that for lunch. 14 points. While I'm waiting for my steak and veg bowl to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and take out of the freezer these Argentinian red shrimp I get at Trader Joe's. These are like my secret stash. I never eat shrimp when Josh is in the house because he's allergic to shellfish. So he and Lila are out of town this week and I am eating shrimp tonight. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you guys one of my new favorite little shrimp dishes. It's a nice, fun, summery, kind of Hawaiian inspired dish. So we're gonna cook that later for dinner, but I thought I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the freezer. Um, I'll make a double portion. That's been like my MO lately instead of a big meal prep. I just, whoop, my steak bowl's done. Um, instead of doing a huge meal prep for the week, I will just, when I'm cooking during the week, make a couple extra portions and that will carry me over. So that's like what my steak bowl was for today. I just made that for dinner the other night. So I had an extra one. So this is going to be enough shrimp for at least two dishes. And I want to say the rice that I'm using, let's see, ignore my messy pantry up on the list for this week. Um, I'm going to try this coconut basmati rice that I picked up at Target a while back. And this is um, a two serving pouch. So I'll just divide it up into two servings. Shrimp on the WW plan is zero points. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and let them defrost. And then I'm sure I'm targeting a later dinner tonight since it's already 3.30. See you guys back later when I decide to make dinner. Hey guys, it's a lot later now. It is time to make some dinner. It is Let's see, around 7.30, I'm gonna go ahead and get started making it. So hopefully it's done by eight so I don't eat too late. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make up that Hawaiian, kind of a jambalaya kind of a dish, but a Hawaiian take on it. So jambalaya is usually a Creole dish, but it usually consists of a mix of meat or shellfish with rice and veggies. So this is kind of just gonna be a little Hawaiian take on that. I'm only saying jambalaya because it's the most relevant thing I can relate this to. So I'm gonna be using this coconut basmati rice. This just goes in the microwave, super fast and simple. I have my fresh cut pineapple. I'm gonna um, dice into some slightly smaller pieces. This was some meal prepped bell pepper. Um, ooh. Did you guys hear that? It is getting ready to storm something crazy. I had meal prepped some green bell peppers. They're a little bit frosty, but they're fine. They've been in the freezer, but they're already diced and ready to go. So I thought I would throw those in today. I'm going to dice up some raw red onion too. This is one of the Gilbert's Aloha chicken sausages. I love that the Gilbert's chicken sausages come individually wrapped and you can just tear them away one by one. Um, it helps in case you don't want to use a whole package at once. I was defrosting some Argentinian red shrimp in the fridge and I just stuck them in this colander to finish defrosting. They were just a touch frosty on the inside yet, but they're good now. This is all going to come together really fast, really easy. I'm just going to pop the rice into the microwave and in one pan, I'm going to go ahead and toss down the raw red onion um, with a little bit of garlic to cook down, then add in my frozen bell pepper mix. 
the chicken sausage and shrimp just really quickly because shrimp barely takes any time to cook. I'm gonna mix a little teriyaki sauce in with that and then it gets served on top of the rice. So super fast, let's whip this up. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time I trip it's a free fall. Why don't you have going to season these with just a touch of salt because that's also going to help draw out any extra moisture and then I'm going to press it out with an extra paper towel because I want to try and get as much moisture out of them as possible since they were frozen um, so they sear in the pan and looking at all this I know that that package of rice makes two servings but once I add in all of this veg the pineapple the sausage the shrimp this is actually probably gonna make three or four servings. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that into the WW app and adjust my points that way. So I will use the recipe builder, put all of my amounts of my different ingredients in and divide it in the servings area by how many servings I'm portioning it into. And I'll just go ahead and portion them out so they're meal prepped for the next couple days. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with the stuff that takes the longest to cook. So that's gonna be our red onions and our slightly frozen green bell peppers. I have to get all the water out of those. pretty equal portions out of it. These two I'm just letting cool slightly and I'm gonna pop them in the fridge for some meal prep. And here is dinner tonight. My Hawaiian style jambalaya, I guess. I don't know, I'm just wanting to call it that because it has the chicken sausage and the shrimp in there. Sure, why not? And then this is just some Crystal Light lemonade just to mix it up a bit. A taste test, shall we? Let's try and get a little bit of everything. Yum. I'm not mad about that one, guys. That is so stinking good. The shrimp are cooked so perfectly. I love the Argentinian shrimp because they're a little bit bigger typically than the shrimp you would buy in the frozen section. They don't cook so fast, so you don't risk the chance of overcooking them while you're getting everything, the sauce and the other veggies and everything to like marry together. Ooh, that coconut rice is so good. I'm glad I left, I left the coconut rice out I didn't add that into the pan like I think you would normally with a jambalaya to cook everything all together. Um, I laid down a layer of the rice first and then I put the sauteed teriyaki veggies, uh, chicken sausage and shrimp on top, um, which I'm glad I did because I'm still tasting that coconut flavored rice and it's not being overwhelmed by the teriyaki. Dessert time. Today we're doing a little ice cream sundae. 
So I'm using the Carb Smart Vanilla Ice Cream from Briars. You get a half a cup for four points. Um, I'm doing two tablespoons of the sugar-free Smucker's Caramel Sundae Syrup and half a banana. That's gonna get me to my 39 out of 38 points today. So I'll use one of my weekly points, but using one of the weeklies does get me a little bit closer in my calories. I'm a bit under today, but this looks delicious. Okay guys, that's it for me today. I've shared everything I've eaten and drank today. Um, I did hit my 100 ounces of water. I was just over at like probably 112-ish right now. I have a little bit left of my last tumbler of water. I'm going to take it upstairs with me as I go take a bath and go to bed. So I hope you had a great day. Thanks so much for following along. Make sure you check out my Instagram so you guys can keep up to date with everything I post over there. Hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet. Join our community and hit the like button if you enjoy seeing what I eat in a day videos. Till next time. Bye. I always do. I never think I always do. Never thought